Rose's Cafe. Well today we're having a little bit of renovation out at Rose's Cafe so I hope the noise doesn't interfere too much with the show. But I do have a quick easy recipe I want to show you today. I love to eat well but sometimes after a long day at my day job I'm just too tired or maybe too lazy to cook something really complicated. Well, Rose has come to my rescue by providing me with some quick, easy, satisfying, and probably some healthy recipes that make me feel like a world-class chef in under 15 minutes. And here's a good one. Today, we're going to make Rose's Shrimp and Broccoli. The first task we have is to heat some butter and oil, tablespoon of butter and tablespoon of oil in a skillet. And now we're going to add uh, all around one and a half, two cups of broccoli florets, and we're going to sear those for a little bit. It takes broccoli a little longer to cook than some of the other stuff. Now the broccoli is just about ready. Notice it's changed uh, to a bright, brighter green color. We don't want to get it really cooked through. We want to leave it kind of crunchy. So we're about there, so we're going to set this aside. And we're going to return our skillet to the fire. And we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil. And to that we're going to add one bell pepper that was cut up into strips and about a tablespoon of fresh red pepper flakes. We're going to saute that for a little while, about a, <coughs> about a minute or so. And now for the last step, we're going to add the shrimp. I have about a pound. That's more than the recipe asked for because I like shrimp. We're going to saute the shrimp with a couple of tablespoons of oyster sauce. And we're also going to return to broccoli at this point. Now we're going to saute all that together until the shrimp is nice and pink and curly. Now while the shrimp is sauteing on the stove, I also have some rice going on here in the rice cooker so that we're going to serve this over a bed of steamed rice. Now our shrimp and broccoli is about ready, so we're going to turn the fire off here, and in just a few minutes, when the rice is ready, it'll be time to plate everything up. And now with the rice done, we're going to put our shrimp and broccoli on top of the rice. And now with the shrimp in place over the rice, we're going to garnish that with some sunflower seeds some shelled and salted sunflower seeds and if you don't have that you could use some peanuts and a few slices of spring onion and there we go and there you have it roses shrimp and broccoli ready to eat thanks for stopping by today be sure to join us next time here at roses cafe bye now